Same Thanks. situation as New York. I'm from Ohio. Oh, okay. I got my services there. Good deal. You know, can't you tell how what a stumble bum I am? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what they gave me for when I came to the university? What's that? Braille paper. <laughs> that was my that was my university support. <laughs> Of course, it was about 150 years ago. <laughs> it's cool though, I still have some braille paper left. I still use it. Gave you a lifetime supply. <laughs> uh, okay, so the private system. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really beat you guys the first 10 minutes of the next class about this stuff. So you gotta get this in your head. Between now and now. How are we doing for time here? We're running out. Had about 10 minutes. This stupid watch. <laughs> it gives me an hour and nothing else. That's three times in a row. It's and there we go. I've got three, four. I've got four after. Anyway. So that's the private system. The fourth system. Oh, they do provide vocational. I told you that, right? Mm -hmm. So most of the, actually, most, of, most state rehab facilities do nothing with vocational so we, Michigan's uh, Commission for the Blind Training Center down here does virtually nothing with vocational training and most of, most of the rest of them don't either they almost always purchase it someplace you think the reason most states don't have better facilities I guess or more training facilities is just money I don't know I think I think New York system does a really great job, to tell you the truth. Okay. And think about trying to change that. <laughs> think about sending out a memo that says, okay, from now on, you people, you 50 people with $5 million budgets, we're going to have our own center. <laughs> what do you think would happen politically in New York? If you, if you ran the state of New York and you sent out a memo that said, we're, gonna, we're not going to contract anymore with agencies in New York. We're going to run our own state agency. You think you might hear from a few senators, congressmen? What's that? Like the whole Congress? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the combined the budget of all those are, but it's high. Okay, there's one other there I, I should mention while we're here on this community uh, private thing. That is, there are also there are also VRTs who put out their own shingle, and instead of working in an agency, contract with the state or contract with some of these private places, and just say work 10 hours or 20 hours a week or even 40. And not as employees, but as contractual people. So it's quite possible to, uh, to just put up a shingle if you don't really want to do a full-time job someplace. It's quite possible to, uh, to do contracts around you. You can't make a success of it everywhere, but you can make a success of it in most metro areas. Do contracted VRTs make more or less money? Okay. Contracted VRTs. Oh, that's not true. Do they? Simply because you can't fill up all the hours. Okay. They might make, they probably make as much or more per hour. But I, you know, right now, if, if we had some sort of third party uh, reimbursement, you could, but until that happens, you know. You gotta do your own taxes and stuff. <laughs> Aren't they working on um, being able to do more third party reimbursements for they are. VRT? Okay, that's what I thought. But we've got to get through this today, so we've got two more things to get through real quick. Okay, uh, CNIB used to be called the Canadian National Institute for Blind, but they've changed it now and it's just called CNIB. Okay. And all I really say about it is, you know, it's the fourth system. 
and in essence, it's a national system, but it operates privately. It does get some federal funding in Canada, but it, and essentially it operates just like the Utica private agency does. It has, you know, has provincial offices and it has subcenters and it has itinerant teachers and blah blah blah. But it uh, essentially is a private, private agency. And it, so you look, it would be very much like working in any other private agency. Uh, the one, the person who works in Yellowknife, where I was just a week and a half ago, covers the whole two territories. And I'm not talking about territories. I'm talking about the, na the Northwest Territories and the Nunavut Territories, meaning all the way from the Yukon to Quebec. <laughs> and there's one person, and there's only, what? How many people, like 30,000 in the whole place? Must fly. That's the only way, right? <laughs> so you do itinerant, you do itinerant float plane work. <laughs> I'll take the job. Of him. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. CNIB stands for Canadian it National. It doesn't stand for anything now. Oh, it's sorry. Just CNIB. Now it's just, it's just CNIB. CNIB, but it used to be Canadian National Institute for the Blind. All right. But they don't like that for the blind stuff anymore. So they ch officially changed their name to CNIB. Okay. Thank them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the last system is this edu educational uh, system. The fifth, the fifth place VRTs can work. And I'm going to stop here because we're close to time out because I want to tell you about <coughs> what you need to be doing. But you need to read it and you're responsible for it. There are several settings. Like uh, there are special, there are special schools, like residential schools. There are special classrooms. There's something called uh, resource rooms in, in schools. There's something called uh, mainstreaming, and there's something called uh, <coughs> full inclusion. You need to know what those mean. So when you read, you make sure you know what they mean. They're written right there. You can read them as easily as I can stand here and say them. We'll. Uh, go over quickly the next time. You need to be doing three things. Reading chapter one. Because we're done with chapter one today. Reading chapter two, especially two parts. Next time we're going to do uh, behavioral, right behavioral objectives. Read that part for the next time. And we're also starting on something called a BRT service plan. It's a huge document that lists all the things that you might teach. Read through that whole document and mark things that you don't understand. Is that chapter two? Yeah. Did I say two? I lied. Four. Three chapters? It's chapter four. It's in planning. Three chapters one and four? One and four. And in for just the part about behavioral objectives and the part about the service plan. And look at the service plan itself and read through it. And your next assignment is going to be to actually rewrite that service plan. I'm going to assign two of you to about two or three sections of it to rewrite because it's antiquated. It's old. It was written in the, in the 90s. So there's not stuff in there about things like Victor Stream and things that <clears throat> need to be updated, you're going to update it. All together we're going to update it. So we read it for next time. All right. It's been joyous. <laughs> I'll get here on time next time. You were here on time today. Thank you, John. Not really. I had to mess around with all my stuff for five minutes. Thank you. Right. Great. <laughs> no. I'm sorry.